650 this morning. Want to get right to your news in a flash. Happening right now, Rockford police working to track down the gunman involved in firing a 30 year old woman on her porch. This was on Tuesday night. She is expected to be okay. That drive by shooting, though, we're told involved a light colored car right on North Independence Avenue, just south of Auburn Street. Meantime, in Dixon, investigators recovering a missing kayaker's body in the Rock River, bringing a worried family one step closer to getting answers. Officers say the man was last spotted near the Custer Avenue boat ramp with his car nearby. They've not released his name or announced a cause of death. In Rockford this morning, police investigating that car crash we told you about, delaying traffic at a major Rockford intersection. This is uh, right near Riverside and North Perryville Road. There's a pickup truck there with damage. The truck is seeing a lot to the front end and the roof. Still not clear what happened here or injuries. I'll let you know when we do. In Waukesha, city officials announcing this year's Christmas parade will go on with ramped up protection in the wake of last year's deadly attack. The new parade date extended, now taking place December 4th. City leaders saying more resources are going to be available for staffing when it comes to police and fire. And looking ahead at Rockford Animal Hospital, weighing in on its closure. Noah's Ark saying it wanted to make changes that some employees didn't really agree with. A few of them resigning. The animal sanctuary leaders want the hospital to focus on population control and taking care of underprivileged animals. They believe they're going in the right direction. That's your news in a flash. Let's get